Great News is a show that was once aired on TV and is now on Netflix that has two great seasons. And let's talk about that first one. That first season gets you introduced to the characters, to the style of the com comedy, the, the jokes, the, the what is it, what is this show? How does it feel? How does the writers write? And it gets you really in there. Kind of has that feel like uh, Kimmy, what is that, Invincible Invincible Kimmy Schmidt, some of the uh, 30 Rock, a little bit. Kind of like a kind of community vibe. It's it's a show. It, it's so it's fun. It's a really funny show. The characters in the show are very entertaining. You've seen them from various different roles. The the one character I think I had the most problem with throughout the entire season was the mother character, who is a prominent role in the show. And man, does she get frustrating? And I think that that's the entire reason her character is there. It's to be the frustrating person that you want the you want the daughter to be able to get from underneath her mother's smothering shadow and such like that and and rise up to the top of this of this news to us new station where these you know they have multiple stories and everybody's all screwing themselves up and trying to evolve in the in the news world and be better and be the best show out there giving the news and this show you really root for the characters you want them to win you want them to be the best news show and this first season really it makes you like you really it's a fun show. It gets you, you get you engaged, and you have a good laugh here and there. You got some really st stupid jokes, just dumb jokes, but I enjoy dumb humor about like you know guys being big manly dummies and shit like that. Like that it just makes me laugh. So I enjoy shows like as I said, the in, in, Invincible Kimmy Smith and Thirty Rock and stuff like that. I believe Tina Fey was a part of. The, she's an executive producer on the show, and she's even in the second season. So the show is worth checking out since especially you get the binge watch it on Netflix might as well throw it in there on your queue uh, along with all the other shows you're in the binge watching but check out the first season if you don't like the first season then you don't gotta go on from there but if you if you enjoy just good humor just nice wholesome humor this show has a lot of that I think it's not too not too raunchy not too dirty or anything like that but it is it gets there it tickles it that's a that's a good that's good funny right there. So check out great news. It's on Netflix. If you don't got Netflix, then get Netflix. What are you doing without Netflix? I'm sorry, I'm not gonna bust your balls for not having Netflix. But either way, have a great day. Just just slap a like on it.